Alright guys, how's it going? So this was actually suggested by a user on YouTube. Cheers much mate. And it's the Loadify add-on. Now it's available for free on GitHub. I'll put the link in the description down below. And this is actually made by the same developer who makes the Scatter add-on. So it's pretty damn good to be honest. Now, in simplistic terms, it's a level of detail switcher. That's the best way I can describe it. So I'm better just showing you how it actually works. So I'll quickly jump into Blender. And you can see here, I have three heads, hey hey! I have a pretty high resolution Suzanne head, a kind of medium resolution and obviously the low resolution. Now one thing about installing the add-on, make sure you either download the zip file or you copy and paste the code because when you download the .py it actually embeds the header detail from the website. So I noticed a lot of users having trouble installing it and I probably think that's what it's down to. So this is very easy to use. I'm going to select the high polygon mesh. I'll come to the object property, which is generally under the vertex colors or normal maps. And you can see here, level of detail. So I'll just enable. And obviously I have three objects. So what I can do is go one, two, three, and I'll use the dropper tool. So I'll select the high mesh, the medium, and obviously the low. And that's it, it's pretty much set up. Now, I don't necessarily need these objects anymore. It's probably a good thing to put them in a collection, but I can quickly delete them. So I'll go back to the high object. Now, I don't want to display the high resolution object. I only want it to work in the render engine. So I can enable it here in the render engine. I want to display the low resolution mesh, but obviously I want it disabled. So as soon as I hit low, it's now displaying the low mesh and it means I can quickly move it around. So let's say, for example, I'm animating in the viewport perfectly fine. I'm using the low poly object. But I kind of want to switch it up a bit. I want to actually go to the medium. Now I'll go to the render viewport here and you can see that I can actually change this to the medium. I can also change it to the high if I wanted. So what this essentially means is in the viewport render engine, it'll display the medium resolution. Now I can change this back to low if I really wanted to. And when I go to render, it's obviously the high resolution mesh. Now this add-on has a lot of cool features and I actually recommend you check out the developer's video because it explains it a lot better than I can. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me and go more, you know what to do. Take care.